So step one to removing your gas tank, unplug the battery. I already did that. Next is gonna be removing the caps on both sides. So the fuel pump is on this side, the fuel lever sensor is on this side. Uh, then obviously you're gonna have to remove your rear seat, which is pretty simple. They just clip onto these points. So you literally just grab the seat and pull up and it just pops right off. All right, so just four Phillips screwdrivers. And then there's two connectors here. That's one, two, and then you just leave this right there. After you remove all this gunk, you're gonna remove that hose clamp right there. Careful, it is brittle, you can break it. Take your time, don't break it. And this hose, same thing. This is a one-time use style clamp, so just get your dikes, cut it, again, be careful, you can break it, and then you're gonna have to buy a whole new fuel pump. All right, so same thing on this side, four Phillips screws and connector. This side is only one. There we go. And the same thing, just put it aside. So this one actually has two one-time use uh, hose clamps like this one, cut them, but make sure you have replacement clamps, uh, hose clamps. And then try to buy the hose clamp specific for fuel lines. Pretty much the whole thing is smooth on the inside so it doesn't cut the actual hose when you over tighten it. So what I like to do is I'll use uh, these mechanical pliers. They do make the actual hose pliers that have like a little claw that grips it through the inside of it but I just use these. I just don't squeeze too hard and I just wiggle it side to side. At the same time, I just pull it out. And you can see how it's coming out. Easy, smooth. Okay, just like that. I have random plugs I've collected and I'll just plug it, make sure nothing falls inside of it. Make sure nothing gets in there. Next hose, same thing, side to side while you pull. All right, just like that. So there is a piece of metal in it that helps uh, reinforce it, but it can break at the base. I've done it before. All right, so now that you have the three connectors and the hoses removed and plugged, now it's time to go to the bottom of the car. All right, so now that we're at the bottom, gonna start with the filler neck hose. And then what I'm gonna do next is just remove this bracket first, just so I can support it properly. Then remove the other two brackets and then lower it a couple of inches so I can get to the hoses that are on this upper corner and on the same opposite side as well. So that's loose already. It's gonna leave it there for now. Once I start to lower it, I'll pull it off all the way. So this is actually a specialty tool. A nice right angle uh, hook. It's kind of a dull tip so you don't pierce the hose itself, but it lets you sneak it in and then you can break the hose free all the way around, which makes for easier removal. As you can see, it's already starting to come off. Let's keep pulling it and there it is. All right, so I have the jack in place. Gonna hit the last two brackets. I'm gonna lower it a tiny bit. I'm gonna put a scrap over the gas tank and actually scrap it to the jack itself. If you're doing this on the floor, you're pretty much gonna use the same method, but just a regular jack. You're only gonna be so far off the ground, so you can just lower it slowly. Just try to keep it balanced. You can try and put a scrap from the gas tank to the head of the jack as well. You can try that, or you can just leave it balanced and just bring it down a couple of inches. So you're gonna wanna remove it from the top just because this is the lowest part of the uh, gas tank. You don't wanna get a face full of uh, fuel. All right, so before we drop the tank, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all the actual fuel line hoses up in this corner. So there's a plastic piece that goes here, a 10 here, 
a 10 straight up here and the little plastic clip that goes in there. Take that off, you wiggle the piece off. So we're gonna pretty much have to disconnect these clamp style hoses and replace them with new style ones that you tighten. The big hose, the clamp is further up. So we're actually gonna remove the actual whole filler neck to make room for that. Remove your fuel cap, remove the box, there's 110, all comes down together. And then next, we're gonna disconnect all the hoses. So we're gonna disconnect it from these three and that one. And then it's just to be able to slide it all out. Wear safety glasses. So for these three hoses, I'm actually gonna just put a mark. Okay. So for these hoses, I'm actually gonna use this really tiny pick just to try to slide it in there and break it loose. Oh. Now, repeat the exact same steps on the other two lines. All right, so now that all these are disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the last two remaining brackets and start lowering it. Ow. So once you bring it down a couple inches, you wanna go ahead and remove these. They just kinda of clip on, they clip in there. So you just wanna pop them out after that. And then you wanna go ahead and remove these two clamps and then this one. Be very, very delicate with this one. They could break 